If you've been wanting to start dropshipping, but you don't want to deal with the tedious tasks of creating a website, marketing that website, and going through all of that technical know-how that requires a bit of knowledge, then this video is exactly what you need. Make sure you stick around all the way to the end because I'm about to show you the easiest way that you can start dropshipping. What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS and in today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can get started dropshipping on eBay. Before we get started, I do want to remind all of you that on this channel, we talk about anything and everything dropshipping related. We talk about the best products to sell as well as how you can start and scale your own dropshipping business. Now, if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. So if you aren't subscribed, just make sure you do so so you can become one of the almost 80,000 members that are finding value in in our videos each and every day. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So for pretty much as long as I can remember, eBay has been the one-stop shop to sell pretty much anything. You can sell things ranging from this charger to your TV. You can literally sell almost anything on eBay. At one point, I remember people were even selling bags of air from a Kanye West concert. So since you can sell so many things on eBay, why not drop ship on eBay? So today we're gonna do just that. We're gonna go ahead and start drop shipping on eBay and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step exactly what you need to do. So first off, the first First thing that we need to do is create an account. We need to register with eBay. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I am on the eBay website, eBay.com. Now that's going to vary depending on your location. So if you're in Canada, it might be eBay.ca, or if you're in the UK, it could be eBay.uk. So here we are on the eBay website. And the first thing we're going to do is click on over to register on the top left corner. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, once we're on here, it's going to give us a few different options to choose from. It's going to tell us to either choose a personal or a business account. If you're planning on selling, I suggest just go for the business account. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's choose a business account and let's choose a business name. This is going to be our store name. So I want to do something, let's say techie. I want to, I want my dropshipping store to revolve around tech. So let's do 8-bit tech, something simple, something that I just quickly made up. Now as for business email, I'm actually just going to put my personal email because I don't have one for this. Business location, United States. I only want to buy on eBay and I want to sell. Nope, I do want to sell on eBay. So just leave this unchecked. All right, once we have that ready and filled out, all we have to do is simply click on create account. Now it's going to send me a verification email. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. In that email, you're going to have a code. Just go ahead and type in that code and then click on verify. And that's it. Now it's asking us for your username. We don't have to put a username, but it looks better on your profile page when you do have a username versus the automatically generated one that eBay gives you, which is a lot of the times buyer or seller and just like a bunch of different random numbers or letters. So let's just do the same name as our business name. All right, so 8-Bit Tech. So I'm gonna switch it up a little bit because all of the other ones were taken. So I'm just gonna put 8-Bit Techie. All right, now go ahead and continue. And it's telling us register as a business seller. To register, we're gonna need an employee ID. So it's asking us to provide all of this different information, but we don't really need this at the moment. So if you read down here, it's telling us if you're sole proprietor registering under your own name, you'll only need to provide personal and bank information. So this pretty much says, if you're selling on your own behalf or as your own little business, then you don't have to provide any of this other stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on get started. And do you operate your business as a legal entity? I'm just going to go ahead and put no, I manage my business as a sole proprietor. So I'm selling pretty much under my own name. I'm not selling under a business name or anything else. So when it comes time to do my taxes, I'm going to include all of this under my name, not under a business name. So now go ahead and continue. And it's going to ask me for all my information. All right. So we have everything filled out. Now let's go ahead and click on continue. It's going to ask me to verify my phone number. Now we're just going to go ahead and verify our phone number. And once that's done, it's going to go ahead and take us to this page where we're going to have to connect our bank account. Now, this is something you have to do. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. The easiest way to do this is simply by choosing your bank and then signing in. So once we have our bank account verified and we were able to sign in, we're going to come to this page where we're just going to go ahead and confirm our banking details. Then we're going to click on continue. Then once more, you're going to be able to review and confirm all of your information, including your address, your billing details, and all of that fun stuff. So once we're here, we're just also going to go ahead and click on confirm once more. So once once all that is done, then you're going to be taken to your seller dashboard right here. You can see my eBay selling overview, but if you're not taken to this page, it's easy to get here. All you have to do is click on my eBay and then go all the way down to selling. Once we click on that, then you're going to be taken once again to that same seller dashboard. Now, I know that I did mention that starting to sell on eBay is completely free and it is. You can start selling on eBay for 100% free, but just so you all know, you do have the option for store subscriptions. These store subscriptions come in a few different prices and can give you a few added benefits. 
benefits. So as you can see, they start at $4.95 per month. And what this gives you is 250 listings per month, free auction listings or fixed price listings. And as far as insertion fees, those are going to be 30 cents per listing after you pass the 250. Now this starts at $4.95 and can go all the way up to about $3,000. Now this isn't something that you really need, at least not at the beginning. This is something that you can start looking into as you start to scale and grow your dropshipping business. Now, is it legal or are you able to dropship on eBay? The short answer is yes, but eBay makes it a little bit confusing, especially when you read their terms. So it's best to actually look into this for yourself because this can vary depending on the country that you're living in. But as for the US, this is what it says. So over here, it shows dropshipping where you fulfill orders directly from a wholesale supplier is allowed on eBay. So if you're sourcing from a wholesale supplier, then you can dropship on eBay. But however, listing an item on eBay and then purchasing the item from another retailer or marketplace that ships directly to your customer is not allowed. So what this is saying is that I'm not allowed to post a particular item and have Target send it to my customer. So if you're sourcing your items from a wholesale supplier, such as Alibaba, AliExpress, CJ Dropshipping, or the AutoDS warehouse and private suppliers, then yeah, you can go ahead and dropship. But if you're dropshipping from a company like, let's say, Target, or Walmart, then you're not allowed to do that. And your account can get restricted or suspended or even worse, completely banned. Now on that note, you're also not allowed to dropship brand name items. So you're not supposed to be dropshipping things like AirPods or Nike shoes. Now, if for whatever reason your account does get suspended or restricted or even banned, there are sometimes ways that you can unrestrict or unban your account. You will have to contact eBay's customer support so that way they can help you out with this. If you want a bit more information on that, just go ahead and check out this video. It'll be linked down in the description below or it's also going to be linked in the cheat sheet now i didn't mention this at the beginning but i'm letting you all know right now i have a cheat sheet to go along with this video in it i'm going to be covering all of the different steps that i'm mentioning to be able to start drop shipping on ebay now if you want access to that cheat sheet all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below hashtag ebay drop shipping along with your takeaway from this video once i see that you went ahead and commented i'll go ahead and reply back with a link to the cheat sheet now on that note it's also really important to keep track of your emails because if your account is restricted or or suspended, then eBay might potentially send you an email asking for some information. So they'll probably ask you for proof of address and proof of your name. Another thing that they can potentially ask for is proof of ownership of a certain item. So if you're dropshipping, let's say a type of shirt and eBay asks you for proof of ownership for that shirt, then what you can simply do to get around that is just go to the store, purchase a similar item to the one that you're dropshipping and upload that receipt. Now, it's also important to note that as a new seller on eBay, you are more than likely going to have some sort of seller limit. Typically, these seller limits come in the form of 10 listings per month and a maximum limit of $500 per month. So what that's pretty much saying is that you can either sell 10 items per month or $500 per month. So whichever one comes first, whether you reach the 10 item selling limit or the $500, that's pretty much going to be all you can do for that particular month. Now, there are a few different ways to get around this. For one, you can easily contact eBay and talk to them about the limits. For the most part, they will be able to help you out and increase or remove the limits altogether. If you want more information on selling limits in the cheat sheet, I am going to have a link to a relevant article that explains the entire thing and how you can get around them. Now, back to actually selling on eBay and creating our store and getting everything up and running. The next thing that we need to do is probably one of the more important parts of the entire dropshipping venture, and that is product research. We need to make sure that we have some of the best possible products to offer so that way we can start making some sales. Now, the first tip that I'm going to give you when it comes to finding products for your dropshipping store is add as many as you can. When it comes to eBay, eBay is a numbers game. The more products you have on there, the more likely you are to find a buyer. And I'm not talking about 10 or 20 products. Try having hundreds and then start building that up to even the thousands. Now, how do you conduct proper product research and how do you find products that are actually going to sell? Well, there's a few different ways that you can do this. For one, you can check social media. So if you're on TikTok, you can go ahead and search up hashtag TikTok made me buy it. And you can start looking through all of these different items and see which ones have the most views. Quick tip for this, look for the most recent items. So look for videos that have gone viral in about the past month. So for example, let's go ahead and check this ice cooler right here. So we're going to go ahead and open that in a new tab. It has 7.7 .7 million views. So that means that this could potentially be a trending item. So let's go ahead and click on on the seller's profile, official minimalist. And as you can see, their entire page is dedicated to this cooler. So let's click the link in their bio. 
All right, so this is the air cooler fan that they're advertising. They're selling it for $40 down from $80. So the website looks pretty clean, looks pretty good, pretty much just like any other dropshipping website that I've seen. But that's not the point. The point is, where can we source this item from? How can we find their supplier? And that's really easy. Let me show you one of my favorite techniques to doing this. It's super simple. All you have to do is right click on the image and then go to search image with Google. After you do that, you're going to get this little pop up on the right hand side with visual matches. So what this means is instead of going to Google and typing in cooling fan, you're just searching up an image. So instead of searching up text, you're searching up an image. Now from here, we can see all of the different options that we have and the different price variations. So you can see that the website is selling it for $39.99. Let's see if we could find it cheaper here. So we have $39, $32 on Amazon. That's already a couple bucks less. If we keep scrolling, they're actually selling it on Walmart for $71. Now I think I found our winner. So right here, AliExpress, $23.64. Let's go ahead and click on that. So in my case, for some reason, whenever I click on an AliExpress link from here, it gives me the mobile site. If that happens to you, it's super easy to fix on the link. Just go ahead and remove the M dot at the beginning and then reload the page. There we go. All right. So this item, you can actually source it for $23.64 with free shipping. So just like that, we found one potential supplier for this fan. Now, if you want to find more winning products, another option that you have is on the same page that we're on, just scroll down. If you scroll down all the way towards the bottom, you're going to have seller recommendations. These are items recommended by the seller because typically these are winning products and they've had some success in the past. Now, another option that you have is the out of the S marketplace and winning products section. So on here you have the marketplace and you have the winning products. I personally like going to the winning products because all of the products that are listed on here have a proven track record. These have been trending in the past have been selling and are currently actually making some sales. So if you scroll down, you can find tons of different items in a variety of niches. Now, let's say you find one that you like. Let's say, for example, this little model airplane. Let's go ahead and click on it. And on here, you get some useful information. So you have the different variations and you have the price as well as a profit analysis, a target audience that you can use if you decide to run Facebook ads, which for eBay, that's not really relevant. So we can completely skip that. And if you decide you want to add this to your store, all you have to do is click on import draft and that's it. It'll be up in your store within minutes. Now, what you just saw me do was the automatic import feature on AutoDS. So what that does is it'll just take whatever listing I needed to and import it directly to my store. I can take listings from AliExpress, CJ Dropshipping, or our AutoDS marketplace. But it's important to note that that's not the only option you have to be able to import your products. You can import everything manually as well. So if you decide to do everything manually, you're going to have to go ahead and copy or save all of the different images, copy over all of the text, such as the titles and descriptions, as well as all of the different variations. Now that's perfectly fine to do. You know, if you want to do everything manually, then by all means, it's up to you. But remember that when you're doing five or six different products, it's okay. It can take a little bit of time, but ultimately it's pretty manageable. But when you start importing multiple products, maybe 20, 30, 40 products, it can get extremely extremely time consuming. That's when features like automatic imports or automating your import process can come in really handy and save you a ton of time. And on that note, remember eBay again is a numbers game. The more products you import, the more likely you are to make a sale. Now that's pretty much all you need to get started drop shipping on eBay. The last thing I want to cover is order fulfillment. What do you do when you receive an order? Well, once we receive our first order, then we just have to go ahead and place the order with our suppliers and have our suppliers ship it directly to the customer. So you're going to go to your supplier, whether that be AliExpress, CJ Dropshipping, or whichever one you choose, and you're going to locate the item that you are selling. Then you're going to place an order for that item. But instead of putting your details, you're going to go ahead and put your customer's details. Once a supplier ships the item and provides you with a tracking number, then you're just going to go ahead and provide that tracking number to eBay. So that way they can provide it to your customer. Now, just like product importing, that's perfectly fine to do. But as you start to get more and more orders, it is going to start to get more and more time consuming. In this case, you can then also also go ahead and implement automation. So AutoDS offers both fulfilled by AutoDS as well as automatic orders. Both of them are fairly similar, but they do have their key differences. So if you decide to use automatic orders, what's going to happen whenever a customer places an order on your eBay store is AutoDS is going to take that information and it's going to route it directly to your supplier. It's going to make the purchase on your behalf using your account details and your banking details. So it's going to use either your credit or your debit card. Then the rest of the process is pretty much the same. 
the supplier is going to ship the item out to the customer, but instead of you getting the tracking number and sending it to your customer or to eBay, AutoDS will do that automatically for you. So AutoDS will take the tracking number and update eBay as well as your customer. Now, if you're using Fulfilled by AutoDS, it's pretty much the same process, but instead of using your buyer accounts and logging into your supplier on your behalf, AutoDS is going to make the purchase using AutoDS accounts. On top of that, instead of using your banking details, AutoDS is going to use a balance that you top up. Automatic ordering is extremely convenient and can really help save a ton of time, especially once your store starts scaling and growing. And that is how you can start drop shipping on eBay today. If you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a like as well as subscribe to the channel. Remember that on this channel, we cover anything and everything drop shipping, starting with the best products to sell all the way to helping you scale and grow your business. Remember to get access to this cheat sheet with all of the information that I provided in this video. All you have to do is go ahead and comment down below hashtag eBay dropshipping along with your takeaway from this video. Huge thank you to everyone for watching today. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS wishing you all nothing but success in your dropshipping business and I'll catch you all next time.